What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday where today we're gonna to be covering how you guys can do a digi camo print or really any camo print for that matter with an airbrush. So let's go ahead, throw two minutes on the clock and dive right into it. All right, so for today, we're gonna to be creating a really clean monochromatic digi camo print up against these Jordan ones. A digi camo print can have really any number of colors, but a really good place to start typically is around four colors total. So since we have this nice black base, we're gonna be counting that as one of our colors. And then we're gonna be doing three shades of gray on top and I'm also gonna be adding in a fifth color, a nice little hint of silver on top of everything. So when deciding what colors you wanna start with, you definitely wanna start with your darkest colors first. So I'm gonna be laying down my dark gray first. You definitely wanna have a nice mixture of larger shapes of the Digi Camo print, and then some smaller versions also mixed out throughout the entire thing. After you've done your dark gray, you can go ahead and move into your lighter color. In this case, it's a nice light gray. Same thing, you wanna have a nice mixture of larger shapes and smaller shapes throughout the entire thing. Feel free to build the light gray right on top of your dark gray, on top of your black. The pattern can really go anywhere and it has to have a nice free feeling to be really successful in my opinion. Now at this point, if you wanted to add in an even lighter shade, it would be a good idea to try to build that on top of the already light gray or on top of the dark gray. If you were doing something like a white here, this is where it would be pretty hard to pop up against the black. So it's best to build that on top of your already lighter shades. After that, I thought it would be really cool to add just a few hints of silver on top of these to really just have a nice popping out look from the rest of this monochromatic feel. This is a much quicker route than doing a hand painting digi camo or creating individual stencils out of vinyl for each individual color. That would take a lot longer here we got everything done with one stencil. You can follow these same steps for creating really any type of camo pattern, but this is gonna be a much quicker route rather than hand painting anything or creating individual vinyl stencils for each color, which would take much longer. You would have a nice cleaner, tighter look, but this definitely gets the job done. All right, so there you have it guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video on creating a digi camo pattern. We hope you guys are enjoying our two minute Tuesdays. Go ahead and let us know if you have any other suggestions on what you would like to see covered in a two minute Tuesday segment. Make sure you give this video a like if you took something away from today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to the page and we will see you guys in that next video.